Here are 30 most commonly asked SAP ODATA related interview questions with detailed and informative answers for SAP ABAP interviews. 1. What is SAP ODATA? Answer, SAP ODATA Open Data Protocol is a standardized protocol for building and consuming RESTful APIs. It enables data exchange between SAP systems and external applications, providing a uniform way to expose and consume data. 2. How does ODATA differ from traditional SAP OFFICE remote function call and BOPI business application programming interface? Answer. ODATA is RESTful and uses HTTP or HTTPS for communication, while OFFICE and BOPI use a remote function call mechanism. ODATA provides a standardized, web-friendly way for data exchange, making it suitable for web and mobile applications. 3. What is the role of SAP Gateway in the context of ODATA? Answer. SAP Gateway acts as a middleware component that enables the exposure of SAP data and business processes as ODATA services. It facilitates communication between SAP systems and external applications through standardized RESTful APIs. 4. Explain the concept of entity sets and entities in SAP ODATA. Answer, an entity set is a collection of entities, and each entity represents a single data record. Entity sets are analogous to database tables, while entities are individual records within those tables. 5. How do you activate and configure ODATA services in SAP Gateway? Answer, ODATA services are activated and configured using the SAP Gateway Service Builder transaction, SEGWA. Developers define data models, service entities, and mappings to backend data structures. 6. What are the different HTTP methods supported by ODATA? Answer. ODATA supports various HTTP methods, including get read, post create, put update replace, patch update modify, and delete delete. These methods correspond to CRUD operations in the context of data manipulation. 7. Explain the concept of service document in SAP ODATA. Answer. A service document in SAP ODATA is the entry point for an ODATA service. It contains information about available entity sets, service metadata, and links to related resources. Clients use the service document to discover and interact with the service. 8. What is the purpose of the metadata endpoint in ODATA services? Answer. The metadata endpoint in ODATA services provides metadata information about the service, including details about available entity sets, entity types, and their relationships. It is essential for clients to understand the service structure. 9. Explain the concept of navigation properties in SAP ODATA. Answer. Navigation properties in SAP ODATA define relationships between entities. They allow clients to navigate from one entity to related entities, providing a way to retrieve linked data without making additional requests. 10. How does SAP ODATA handle versioning and concurrency control? Answer. ODATA supports the tags entity tags for concurrency control. When an entity is read, an e-tag is generated. When updating, the client includes the e-tag and the server checks if the e-tag matches the current state, ensuring data consistency. 11. What is the significance of the expand option in ODATA? Answer. The expand option in ODATA is used to retrieve related entities in a single request. It allows clients to request data from multiple entity sets and their relationships. In a single call, reducing the number of round trips to the server. 12. How do you handle error responses in SAP ODATA? Answer. ODATA services use HTTP status codes to indicate the success or failure of a request. Error details, including error codes and messages, are provided in the response body. Clients can handle errors based on the HTTP status code. 13. Explain the concept of function imports in SAP ODATA. Answer. Function imports in SAP ODOT allow the exposure of custom functions or actions that perform specific business logic. They are defined in the service builder and can be called by clients to execute specific operations. 
14. What is the role of SAP Fiori in conjunction with SAP OData services? Answer. SAP Fiori uses OData services to access and display data in a user-friendly manner. Fiori applications leverage OData for real-time data retrieval and updates, providing a responsive and intuitive user experience. 15. How do you secure SAP OData services? Answer. SAP OData services can be secured using various mechanisms, including SAP Gateway Service Builder settings, SAP NetWeaver Gateway settings, and role-based access control. SSL encryption and authentication mechanisms enhance security. 16. Explain the concept of query options in SAP OData. Answer. Query options in SAP OData allow clients to modify the result set by specifying parameters in the URL. Examples include filter for filtering, order B for sorting, and top and skip for pagination. 17. How can you handle CSCR cross-site request forgery protection in SAP OData? Answer. CSCRF protection in SAP OData involves generating and validating CSCRF tokens. The XCSCRF token header is used for token exchange between the client and server to prevent unauthorized requests. 18. What is the purpose of the count option in SAP OData? Answer. The count option in OData is used to request the total number of entities in an entity set without retrieving the actual data. It provides a quick way to get the total count for pagination purposes. 19. Explain the concept of OData batch processing. Answer. OData batch processing allows clients to group multiple operations such as create, update, delete into a single HTTP request. This reduces the number of round trips and improves efficiency. 20. How do you handle Delta queries in SAP OData for incremental data synchronization? Answer. Delta queries in SAP OData involve using the Delta option. The server responds with changes since a specified point in time, allowing clients to synchronize data incrementally. 21. What is the purpose of the metadata service document in SAP OData? Answer. The metadata service document in SAP OData provides metadata information about the OData service. It includes details about entity sets, entity types, relationships, and other service-related information. 22. How can you handle deep insert operations in SAP OData? Answer. Deep insert operations in SAP OData allow clients to create entities along with related entities in a single request. The batch endpoint is commonly used for handling such batch operations. 23. Explain the concept of OData media resources. Answer. OData media resources are used for managing binary data, such as images or documents. The media link entry concept allows clients to interact with media resources for upload, download, and modification. 24. How can you implement server-side paging in SAP OData? Answer. Server-side paging in SAP OData is implemented using the top and skip query options. Clients can request a specific number of records top and skip a certain number of records skip for pagination. 25. What is the significance of the format option in SAP OData? Answer. The format option in SAP OData allows clients to specify the desired format for the response, such as JSON or ZML. It enables content negotiation between the client and server. 26. How do you handle concurrency conflicts in SAP OData? Answer. Concurrency conflicts in SAP OData are managed using ETAGs. When updating, the client provides the e-tag, and the server checks if it matches the current state. If not, a concurrency conflict is detected. 27. Explain the concept of OData version 4.0 and its key features. Answer. OData version 4.0 introduces features like enhanced querying capabilities, simplified syntax, and improved support for complex types and actions. It focuses on providing a more flexible and powerful data exchange standard. 28. 
How can you optimize Odata performance in SAP Gateway? Answer, Odata performance in SAP Gateway can be optimized by implementing proper indexing on backend tables, using appropriate query options, and minimizing unnecessary data retrieval. Catching and parallelization can also enhance performance. 29. What are the considerations for securing Odata services when accessed from external applications? Answer. When accessed from external applications, Odata services should be secured using authentication mechanisms such as OATH, SSL encryption, secure coding practices, and role-based access control are essential for ensuring security. 30. Explain the role of SAP Fiori elements in conjunction with SAP Odata. Answer. SAP Fiori Elements is a design approach that uses predefined UI patterns to generate responsive and consistent user interfaces. When combined with SAP Odata services, Fiori Elements allows developers to create Fiori applications rapidly with minimal coding. These questions and answers cover various aspects of SAP Odata in the context of SAP ABAP, providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers, and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.